My dear students, to my channel Mathematics Made Easy, this is Mr. Chika welcoming you to today's session, especially for my grade 9 elite math students. Today we are covering the term 3 math exam coverage part 1. This is a must watch video for all my students who are giving their exams very shortly. And today we are covering some questions from the uh, exam coverage that has come as per your scheme of work. So you see uh, which questions from which pages are we covering in the screenshot. So pages 3, 6, 3, 5, 6, 4, 1, 6, 5, 1 and 6, 5, 7 from the module of module 11 polynomials we are going to cover today. So let's dive into the video and before we do that a humble kind reminder please subscribe to the channel if you're watching my videos and finding them useful. It serves as a motivation for me to make more and more videos for you and I have an announcement also uh, if you click the bell icon you will receive notifications of all my videos so daily one video is going to come for exam coverage starting from today till your exam time so make the most of it take the benefit and all the best for your coming exams so let's start the video now Let's solve some simple questions from the lesson of modules. So this is on the learning objective subtract polynomials given in your math book on page 635. So here you have question 15 to 20. Let's do some of them. So we just have the logic of combining the like terms. So if it is addition or subtraction, you combine the like terms. I hope you know like terms are the terms which have the same variable. So 2x and 4x are like term. You add them to get 6x. 3y and 9y are like term. You add them to get 12y. So that's your answer. Let's do one more. So C. 6s and 8s like terms, 5 and 14 like terms. So 6 plus 8 would give you 14s, 5 plus 4 would give you 90. So these are the like terms looking at the variable. Now comes subtraction. So when it is subtraction, one step is added. That is the polynomial which is subtracted will change sign. So it will become minus 2a minus 4b. Now you do the combination. Combine the like terms and accordingly add or subtract. So 5a minus 2a will give you 3a. 9b minus 4b will give you 5b. Similarly, let's do one more here. I'll be doing this one. You can check your answers now. So subtract and change sign. So 11 minus 2 is 9m. 7 and 13 combined gives you 13n. Similarly here you change and combine. So I'm going to combine m square with m square that gives you 2m square, 2m and minus m that gives you just an m. This is your answer. Similarly here x square minus 3x because it is subtraction sign will be changed becomes negative and now we combine this with this this with this so minus x square minus 8x so please check your answer with that we have completed how to subtract polynomial some more questions with the same learning objective from the same page let's do them also so we are going to do the first one 3c cube minus c plus 11 so the only difference is you have more terms so just change the sign of all these all are positive all will become negative now you combine the like terms for 3c cube no like term for minus c square no like term Minus C and minus 2C will give you minus 3C. 11 and 8 would give you 3. So this is the term. Now remember when you are giving your answer, you have to give the final answer always in standard form of polynomial. Means you will decrease the power one by one. Okay, other similar problems. Let me do one more for you. This one. So minus 8XY. Now here it is positive. They are being added, so there is no difference. So we have to just combine the like terms. So I have combined like this. So minus 8 and plus 6xy are like terms together. You can put them in brackets just so that you don't do any sign mistake. Put these two in brackets and then put 
minus 5y minus 2y together so simplify now minus 2xy then 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 5 and minus 2 is minus 7 so that's your answer in a similar way you can finish the other questions see these are very very simple just combine this so 2z square plus z minus 11 there's no like term here you will have a negative sign so you will have to change your sign it will become minus 3y minus 4x 2x minus 2y plus 1 combine like terms 2y and minus 4y will give you minus 2x minus 2y and this will give you minus 5y and plus 1 similarly now combine the like terms here this and this there is no like term for this term and these two together so minus x square y minus 3x square plus y let's do this also not to leave it so these two are like terms these two are like terms and these two are like terms so minus 5 b square and plus 3b would give you minus 2b square this and this would give you 2a and 3 plus 6 would give you nine so now you can check your answers this is how we subtract polynomial now sometimes word problem can also come so let's do the word problem and solve it together so there are two companies company a and company b they started their business in the same year they made some profit in millions for company a it is given by this equation let's highlight and x is the number of years x variable denotes that then the profit by made company b is denoted by this this is for company b where again x is the number of years so in part a you have to write a polynomial equation to give difference so difference means you have to do subtraction after x years so let's subtract so always you subtract small from big so when you do answer a you will take difference d to be equal to 3.2x plus 12 the first company minus the second company b company so now open the brackets change the sign and these have decimal 3.2 and 2.7 take together plus 12 minus 10 so like terms we are taking together we are following the same rule now you just need to do the subtraction and complete your calculation so this on calculation would come out to be 3.2 minus 2.7 which is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 x plus 2 now this is the value of d what is x denoting x is denoting the number of years in business so in part b you have to predict the difference after t years that means x is 10 years so d is going to be 0 0.5 just plug in 10 in place of x and get your answer so it will be 5 plus 2 equal to 7 so what is the profit it is 7 unit is millions that completes your word problem Next, we do simple multiplication and when we multiply polynomials by binomials, we use the simple logic of distributive property. So whenever we are doing multiplication with a monomial, remember you are going to distribute. So there is one monomial B here distributed over one, two, three trinomials. So multiply each term b multiplied with b square minus 12 b multiplied with b plus b so what it is given standard form answer let's do one more this one i uh, will do this one because i have less space to write here so i'm going to distribute over the three terms so now listen here carefully when you are distributing in this rule you will use the laws of exponents what is the law of exponent if you have same base and different power and you are doing multiplication power gets added that's what we'll use so let's do that here 2 with 2 is 4 
P with P is P square. That's law of exponent. R square with R1 is R cube. Next, 2 with 5 is 10. P1 with P2 is P3. R square with R is R cube. And similarly, next last term, 30 P square R square. So the final answer, 4 P square R cube plus 10 P cube R cube minus 30 p square r square now if you want you can write in standard form so maximum to minimum maximum power is this one and then after that you have 4 p square r cube and last you have this term. so this is your answer let's do one last which is this one again we are going to use distributive property we'll multiply one by one four with two is eight t square t cube with t square is t3 plus 2 which is 5 u cube minus 40 t4 u5 plus 8 t cube u now look at the powers we need to convert in standard form so 40 t4 u5 because here the power is 9 and then here the power is 8 so after this this comes and then finally last okay so that completes this slide okay let's do some more questions now sometimes they give you long question like this but if you just multiplication use and you have a monomial you still use the same property the method to solve to multiply would be same that is you will use distributive property so let me show you how we'll do question 10 and 12 right now similarly other questions you will do so we are doing multiplication so we'll distribute now see when you are distributing there's a negative sign so the sign of inside term is going to change so minus 9 minus 2 will give you 18 g square then minus and plus will give you minus 9 g cube plus 3 g 3 power is 3 and 3 with 4 is 12 now is this in standard form yes but do you have like terms oh yes we can combine these two together so it will give you minus 6 g cube plus 18 g square plus 12 now it is in standard form let's do one more again you are going to use distributive so distribute these terms and then simplify and combine the like terms so 4 with 2 is 8 and 4 p square minus 4 with 3 is 12 n square p square 4 with 5 is 20 n square so that's first bracket now let's do second 24 n square p square minus 8 n p q plus 12 p square now what are the like terms let's check n square p square can be combined that's one term is there any other term no so it will be as it is so maximum power is 6 so 8 n 4 p square then you combine these two together so it will give you 12 n square p square then you have minus 8 n p cube plus 20 n square plus 12 p square that's your final answer question 7 8 and 9 are very simple please do them yourself and check your answer okay so here you need to now solve and find the product of these four parts i'm going to be doing two parts out of these so we'll take up question 50 and question 51 similarly you can do the remaining now in this question there can be so many methods one is use algebra identity second is to use distributive property and third is to use foil any method would give you so i'm going to do question 50 with algebra identity a minus p whole square is equal to a square minus 2a b plus p square and we are going to do question 51 using foil so that you know both methods so foil i'm going to do here 
that is for 51 and for 50 let's write the answer so first term square minus 2 times first term times second term plus second term whole square so the final answer for this would be a square minus 4ab plus 4b square this is the product let's do foil now so for doing foil we have to write this in this way first term times second term see it is the same term coming two times so what could be the first terms f is product of first term so the first term here and the first term here is 3c multiplied with 3c which gives you 9c square then you have the next term which is o means outside terms so outside you have this and this means 3c times 4d so this is 12cd then you have inside terms inside means this and this so 4d with 3c so it is giving you 12dc or it is same as 12cd no difference now the last terms so last terms are 4d and 4d so 4d with 4d that's 16 d square now after you find f o i l first term outer term inner terms and last term product final step is to add them so let's add 9 c square plus 24 c d plus 16 d square and that would give you your final answer now the same problem could have been done by the identity also the same problem could have done by distributive also so it is going to give you the same answer now here where the power is 3 you may use distributive by first applying the identity so you can write this as 2r minus 3t whole square because power is 1 power is 2 now you write 2r minus 3t open the identity so i'm going to apply this algebraic identity same so it will be 4r square minus 2 times 2r 3t plus 9t square after that you simplify it one more time and then do the distributive so 4 r square 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 r t plus 9 t square now after this step you may break this into two parts 2 r and 3 t uh, let me just make a boundary here and then last step would be to do distributive so when you distribute you know power gets multiplied everywhere so do the distributive and then last step you will combine the like terms and give your final answer please finish this question for today with that we have finished the revision of end of term coverage for module 11 polynomials please wait for part 2 which is coming very very soon and make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the upcoming videos every day now you have, have revision videos coming for grade 9 end of term coverage so stay glued to the channel and if you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and share with your friends all the best for coming exams bye bye